Hi everybody, Tasha here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Welcome back to everyone new. Hello and welcome. So, <laughs> you're looking at Stellan. To all of you new, I'm going to introduce Stellan. Stellan is my Levi. Levi Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. Uh, he's a very, very, very special baby in my collection. He's fairly new. And um, he recently went out to get rerooted, uh, which I'm just so, so over the top thrilled with. So today I have some fun for you all, some dolly fun. I'm going to open a package of an order and there's something special inside that I want to share with you all. So... That's exciting. I'm just trying to think for a second. What did I? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Oh, yeah. Okay. I have that right. Sorry. I'm thinking out loud, ladies. And I have a little outfit to change Stellan into. I hope that I get to it. I bought this actually for uh, for Oscar, but I was looking for what I was going to change Stellan into. And I was like, oh, this is so cute. So this is um, a Carter's. I think it's like what's out, you know, now. Uh as far as there are little like you know lines it, i think it's an organic something um but it's cream uh it's a top that sna uh, snaps it looks kind of like a thermal but it's lightweight and then it has little pants it has a pocket with a little bear peeking up and then it has two little bears on the bottom of the pants um the bears are in gray so just simple um cute kind of classic baby in a way which is the style that I like to stick to for little Stellan. So I have a package from, I gotta grab a scissor. Uh, I should have had a scissor out. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry hearing all that <laughs> noise. But this, I decided to place an order from a seamstress in the community that I really admire. Um, I see her posting her work on Instagram. And I've seen at least one collector I know that uh, I believe, I don't know about frequently or whatever. But, you know, I've seen several times she's ordered uh, some custom pieces from her. And her work is just so meticulous. She seems so creative. Such a joy to work with once I, you know, decided to place an order with her. So I'm going to share with you all my order. And then I'm going to share with you all a little something special, which is an idea that I guess I... I didn't really, I didn't come up with myself. It's, you'll see, I'll explain it. <laughs> let me open, let me go into here. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at how beautifully everything's wrapped. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's something written here. Okay, sorry ladies. So this, look at how tiny this is. So this is an outfit for my little pixie girl, Marley. Y'all haven't seen her in a while. She's actually my channel mascot. And so you're going to see her soon because I'm going to change her. And there's a little heart with something. Um, yes, be careful about the button in the back because the fabric is thin. Uh, so, and this is, all of this is from Joanna's Creations. And she is on Instagram at Little Reborn Genesis, I think you say that. So this is so tiny. So I'm opening this up. There's a little headband. And I wanted something that I could put on her potentially at Christmas time. But then it's not like too Christmassy. Like she could kind of just wear it any time. But at the holidays, it would, you know, with like a, you know, Christmas background and stuff, it would look Christmassy. So it's a little set. Oh, this is just gorgeous. The little bloomers have, um, what do you call this? <laughs> is that lace, but, but, uh, crinoline, uh, I don't even know, P uh, puffy. 
I'm bad, I'm very bad at this. Um, and it has a little top. I know this is called eye, uh, an eyelet. It's in white and little flutter sleeves. I only know that because I was watching Ashley's video the other day. And then it has the red on the bottom as well and the little headband that matches. Joanna, this is going to fit Marley perfect. Really perfect. Oh, I love, love, love. So let's move this out of the way here. Let me show that. Um, all right. I hope I'm doing this all right. I don't often open like orders and st uh, stuff. I don't usually make custom, you know, orders. It's just, it's just a, an occasion, a, a treat. I'm for my, definitely for my pixie girl, something that I, you know, her clothes kind of have to be custom ordered. Um, and then this. Well, originally what happened was, is my little preemie girl, Cece, I, uh, Joanna had a spot in, uh, August open, uh, last week in August open. And so I slipped into that spot thinking of Cece. Well, by the time that it came up, which was only a couple weeks, but when the spot came up, I had gotten so much for Cece from my friend had some, uh, you know, preemie clothes uh, for sale secondhand. I was gifted some things like I wound up having tons for her. So I said, well, I didn't want to cancel my spot. And I said to myself, well, I could definitely use something custom for Marley, something I had been thinking of. And then I decided to get something for Stellan. So this is going to be for winter, Christmas time. Um, of course, I've seen, you know, pictures, of, you know, of everything. So let me show you. And this is a print. I want to say this was a, I, th I think it's an imported print. It's one um, that's more, you know, not just your common print. It's a Winnie the Pooh. I just loved, loved, loved this print. So it is a bonnet and a romper. Oh, this is perfect. How sweet is this? Can you all see? So it has the Winnie the Pooh print and, well, I guess it's Christmas. Yeah, it does have the Christmas tree. Um, and then it has Winnie the Pooh leaning down to Piglet. And then it has like a... Uh, another little scene with Pooh and Piglet and Tigger and it's like a I guess like a sky blue and and white and then it looks like it's like snowing on the print and then the top part is uh, blue and white polka dots and then it has a white Peter Pan collar this beautiful collar this is done really beautifully and I wanted a little sleeve because it was winter so y'all know I'm not good like I love the little sleeveless rompers but for winter you would have to pair it with something well not have to but I would pair it with something underneath to be more realistic for the babies um for weather and I'm so bad at that I never would have been able to find the correct thing you know bodysuit or whatever so this is perfect because a nice uh you know pair of little booties that match this and the bonnet is so sweet and it's reversible with the um uh you know the other the other print whatever the uh, the uh polka dots I'm so bad at describing clothes <laughs> oh this is so so sweet I love this Joanna thank you so much for taking the time because I said to her I said oh, you're gonna have to help me out a little bit here like I know which baby and like kind of sort of what I want but I, I said I don't know I, I picked the fabric but then I said I don't know like what I wanted like the two fabrics on a romper but I had no idea how to match what fabric would look right with well, like I am just that's not my my thing I'm very creative um in a lot of different senses but like fashion decorating is not my thing but apparently this is my thing well this is Joanna's thing but 
So, I must give credit to Inez over at the Reborn Doll Collective. Oh, there's a little headband on this. How sweet. Um, Inez over at the Reborn Doll Collective was the first place that I heard of um, putting the satin under the baby's heads for the mohair or whatever hair they have um, for their rooted hair to keep it from, you know, mussing up underneath. I saw her mention it like over a year ago. I think she might have did like a video on it. And then not all like maybe four or five months ago, I saw her mention it again. And then I've seen other ladies using it um, since then. And I said, that's a really great idea. And I said, you know, what could I do here? Now, I can't sew, mind you, ladies. I mean, I can, but it not, you know, <laughs> not anything too spectacular. And I said, could I just get the satin pieces cut? I thought about maybe getting a big piece for like Oscar's uh, bassinet and then just tucking it under so it was almost like a sheet. Uh, I thought about just cutting, you know, squares, but how ugly that would look just cut and not you know stitched at the end you know you all know what I'm saying so I I said to Joanna of course this is all by by in, uh, direct messaging I said you know I'm looking for something satin for the head kind of like a pillow a flat pillow something so we tossed that back and forth and I said but really, she said, well, maybe I can make pillowcases and then you can stuff them instead of paying for the shipping on stuffed pillows. And I said, yeah, that's a good idea. And then I said, well, I said, really, though, I just need, want, need something flat, something like, a, you know, a, a placemat or a burp cloth or something. So then she was like, OK, so how about this? And, you know, she just showed me. A square she showed me different satins I'm like that's perfect so Joanna you know thank you to Inez at the reborn doll collective and I didn't make it a surprise because I wanted to know from her on color as a thank you Inez has um, three of these coming uh, compliments of moi and Joanna has these and I see that there is a little headband on one of these I'm gonna open them up in a minute Oh, thank you so much, Joanna. That is so sweet. So she sent this little headband. That is adorable. Look at that. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Oh, that is really sweet. Oh, and this ties. So this, that's so nice. This could go on any baby. I can put this on in Kiki and Esvoria or even Cece. How sweet is that? So here's one of the these uh um satin headrests i think she decided on let me know joanna <laughs> did we decide on satin headrests or did you decide oh and there's another oh that's so sweet thank you so much <gasps> oh i love the way this feels <gasps> This is so beautiful. Look at this headband. It's gray. I can't even describe the the fat. It's stretchy too on this headband. It's so soft. It has um a dark gray, like a dark, dark, or even no, it's black. <laughs> Some so bad. Black uh um uh flower. That is gorgeous. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh, that's totally me. Joanna, thank you. You didn't have to send things. <gasps> this is, so this is it. This is Joanna's creation. The satin headrest for our babies. Isn't this awesome? So I, of course, I'm going to give you guys an example. Let me open up these that I ordered here. So... I think that, you know, because you want them for under, well, I wanted them for under, you know, the baby's head, that this was perfect. So I went with, this looks like, this is, um, oh, you said, oh, you thank you, Joanna, so much. That is really so sweet of you. So one is, Oh, I see these two here. <laughs> oh my God. 
I'm like apparently blind too. These two are like a off white, like a cream color. Um, and I wanted for Oscar's bassinet because he has like the that um whatchamacallit, uh antique bassinet and it's like stark white, it's wood. And so I have in it, like, I have a cream sheet. Like, I have cream, like, bedding and accessories to offset the stark whiteness of it. So I wanted the off-white for, for Oscar. And then I got white for the rest of the babies just to simply put under their heads. I'm going to actually use a cream one here with Stellan because I think it looks, hang on. Let me see if I'm, because I think it'll look nice on this, like, whatever color this is. Burnt orange, this blanket that I have him on, kind of fall. Look at that. Look at how perfect. Oh, I love it. It's the perfect size. Not too big, not too small. It's sewn beautifully. Joanna has her little, um, signature emblem, uh, in the corner there, you know, Joanna's Creations Handmade, which I love. It, it just gives it, you know, a little custom, you know, that these are hers. I, Joanna, I love it. I love it. So you can order these headrests yourself. I'm going to put a link to Joanna's Instagram below. And, oh gosh, okay, I hope I get this right. Um, she's going to offer these, um, two for 12 plus ship or four for 20 plus ship. And that's the pricing, uh, set on these satin headrests, which ladies, you can't beat that with a stick. If you went and ordered the fabric, the time it takes you to sit there and sew it together and maybe some of you can and it's just an idea some of you will make your own and those that are like me and um I think she has uh different colors in the satin so even if you wanted to go just pretty much with any color you can can ask her I know she showed me a you know uh a bunch of colors um you know when I was choosing what I wanted Inez wanted um white cream and beige so Inez I did my best <laughs> to uh tell Joanna it, we looked at different you know shades so you know she's got the the colors for you so Inez at the Reborn Doll Collective if you'd like to see three different colors um it'll uh Hers didn't go out yet because I had asked Joanna after mine were finished. I said, you know, I'd love to send Inez a little happy mail gift um, because the idea was from her. So, and, uh, you know, like next week you could go over to Inez. I'll say it again in a video because I'm sure in videos that I'm showing these, I'll, I'll talk about them. So you can go over like next week to Inez and see like three shades of colors. So I, I just thought this was the niftiest thing and um, I'll probably be, I'll, you know, I have more babies. Not all of them, though, are always laying on their head. So actually, I may be just, just great with um, the amount that I have. So anyways, that was something special, something that I thought was very reasonably priced definitely has my stamp of approval and endorsement on it um, as far as quality. And yes, people, I paid for my order. This was not a promotion. This is just <laughs> an order and something, you know, creative that, uh, you know, I came up with with the seamstress and I thought this was fantastic for her to to offer to you all and that this would solve for many of you reborn and silicone doll collectors that do not you know have the skill or the time or the desire to go buying satin and start trying to sew it together and as I said for those of you that can then here you go this is you know I can even tell you what how the you know 
what does this look about four four by four maybe piece of you know satin and it's double you know line of course it's it's double line so it's sewn you know together it's almost like a mini pillowcase but there's no opening so you know anybody could uh potentially that if you have a little bit of sewing skills you could pass you know you could pick up your own satin and do it but again I, to me at the price you just can't go wrong and i it's for me easier to order things like this so so the non-fashionista me that is like as you all those of you that are new you're like probably like oh my god what is she a joke because <laughs> I don't necessarily present clothing incredibly well <laughs> because I just don't know what I'm talking about and I admit it I admit it so <laughs> I was like pretty excited that I <laughs> was able to go back and forth with the seamstress and get this done and that it came out exactly what I was looking for so Joanna thank you so much for your patience and for working with me there and for actually getting me <laughs> and again thank you Inez at the Reborn Doll Collective for this wonderful idea this really I think is going to be so nice for the their hair because I totally understand you know like what everyone's saying when you lay their their head down like on a Muslim Muslim must I don't know how to say those blankets the gauzy kind of blankets or any other blanket or sheet or quilt or whatever um it's their you know the back of their hair is always getting a little matted especially like the longer they lay and things like that so if you have, especially if you have dolls on display in bassinets, laying on a change table, laying on your bed, um, or even sitting up but laying their head back, these are so perfect to put behind or under your uh, reborn or silicone's head. So we're going to go try one out with Oscar. I'm going to let you all go and I'm probably going to continue on to make another video for you all and change little Stellan. So thanks for joining me today. Um, in the description bar below is going to be where you're going to find Joanna's creations, um, which is Little Reborn Genesis on Instagram. So you can find Joanna if you'd like to get your own reborn doll or Dolly headrests, <laughs> satin headrests, satin headrests. And Joanna, I absolutely, I am so excited. I love, I love what you made. Uh, beautiful, just, I, it's just so nice to have something different, something custom, you know, that isn't, you know, not that necessarily no one else is going to have, but that you don't see, you know, 50 of them on the store rack. You know what I'm saying? It just is neat. It's fun. Uh, I like to do that with my uh, sugar gliders things, like their bonding bags and stuff. I actually have a skull candy, like um, a signature bonding bag. And I do, I pay a little extra for certain fabrics. And I send them as my signature bags, what my Joey's go home in. Um, so it's, people just love it, you know, and it just puts that little extra personal touch makes it a little different than everybody else and it's fun it's all you know the more creative we can get hey it's a doll hobby right <laughs> all right everyone if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of me and my doll collection please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video and receive invites to my live streams don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to visit Joanna uh, at Little Reborn Genesis. And next week, Inez at the Reborn Doll Collective will be showing um, three colors of these little satin headrests that I'll be send that's I'm um, sending over to her. All right, everyone. Till next time. God bless.